I think we've all faced that scenario where we've had a particularly difficult blood draw in one of our canine or feline patients. This can result in significant platelet clumping, and that can confound our CBC results. Automated hematology analyzers often underreport the number of platelets in a sample, and this can lead to potentially unnecessary tests and treatments if we don't recognize it for what it is, a common lab error. And while a blood smear is great at helping us identify platelet clumps and differentiating true thrombocytopenia from pseudothrombocytopenia, I personally wasn't previously aware of any way to correct the platelet count once the clumps had formed in the EDTA2. But a recent study caught my attention that explored the use of a common antibiotic, likely already sitting on your shelf, as a remedy to disband these platelet clumps and obtain a more accurate count. It turns out amikacin, when added post-collection, has shown promise in disaggregating platelet clumps in blood samples from both cats and dogs. Click on this link to learn more about this novel approach to reducing pseudothrombocytopenia in your blood samples.